What the actual f did I just watch? Usually when I select a video, I will watch enough to realize that I want to cover a video, and, and I stop after a minute or two because I like to record my most raw reactions. I will tell you that the video we're about to watch together, I watched every moment of, and about halfway through I realized that I had been making the same facial expression the entire time, something akin to, in a way, I don't want to, but I am Mr. Atheist, so let's do this. Today we are headed to a channel called Minute Videos, and I haven't dived deep into it, but from what I can tell, people send in their stories and they animate it. And somebody over at Minute Videos thought this would be a good story to share, literally this week on the 22nd. And it is called, Is It Wrong to Disagree with LGBT? And before we get started, I want to make sure we define our terms here. Is it wrong to disagree with LGBT? Well, what are you disagreeing with? What is the LGBT position? It is simply this. We are humans. We are here. We deserve respect. We deserve love. We deserve to love. And most of all, we deserve to exist. So is it wrong to disagree with LGBT? Yes. Yes, it is. No one's saying you have to yourself join that community. You can even have your religious beliefs that it's a sin and gross or whatever else. But the LGBTQA plus community has been met with hatred and vitriol, homophobia, bigotry, pain, both physical and emotional, and a society that forever would not even attempt to understand or accommodate these people. Now let's watch this animated video villainizing the LGBTQA plus community and show us how the real victims are straight little girls who don't agree with the LGBT. It was the end of the day, and I was waiting for my bus with one of my friends when she began asking me random questions. All of a sudden, though, she asked, Hey, have you heard of the LGBT plus community? As you listen through, I wonder too whether or not you will agree that this story doesn't sound as much like a story that actually happened. Hey, have you heard of the LGBT plus community? And more like the kind of story that say a pastor or religious adult would write thinking that this is how it would happen. There's just a lot about this story that sticks out as somebody imagining it rather than it happening. Yes, I had. Is this the last question? No. But almost. Do you support gay and lesbians? Like the people who are in the LGBT community? And let's remember again, what does it mean to support gay and lesbians? Well, it would be to extend to them the same freedoms you enjoy because we live in a country, presuming that this is an American story, by accents it certainly seems to be presented as such, you live in a country that is meant to be a secular state and hold no religion above any other, and the only reason to discriminate against the LGBTQA community would be on religious grounds. So again, even if you think your God has said that is a sin, you need to understand that in this country, that doesn't matter, and while you love your religious freedom, you must extend it to other people. Do I give her my honest opinion? Or should I lie? Maybe I should just tell her what I think will make her happy. But what if it's not the right answer she wants to hear? After a quick pause, I gave her my reply. No. And here is the moment where we actually see who the villains, who the culprits are in this video. Because the video is going to make it look like it is the LGBT community. Just wait, that's coming. But in reality, it is your parents. I am very sorry that you are a victim of ideological assholes who even in current day use their religious beliefs to discriminate against others. I've said this time and time again, I don't actually care if you believe in God, I care about how you treat other people and unfortunately you come from a family that has taught you to treat other people poorly and to treat them with total disregard. So I will say, this young girl absolutely is a victim a victim of dogma, indoctrination, and the evil that religion can do where they can take what may be very good people and compel them to do and say bad things. But I saw the shock on her face. She smiled awkwardly and said, Oh, okay. I had no idea what that meant. Well, as we mentioned before, perhaps the shock on her face is how can you disagree with the right of people to exist and to love the way they wish to love? What if she doesn't want to be my friend anymore? 
Am I a bad person for not supporting the LGBT plus community? The biggest thing I couldn't get off my mind was her awkward smile hiding her true emotions from me. So keep in mind here, they've put this picture up now of, of her with the word evil and little devil horns and vampire teeth. And it's meant to tug at your heartstrings. Oh no, this hypothetical girl in the cartoon, she feels like she might be evil for not agreeing with the LGBT. But remember, her disagreement with the LGBT is in fact that she believes that the acts those people are doing, that those people are evil, that they are sinful, that they are wrong. This is the reasoning behind not supporting the LGBT. So remember, there's always going to be a positive air throughout this cartoon of, of look at this poor young girl and how, how she just wanted to be friends and be happy, totally disregarding what is behind those feelings of her not supporting the LGBT. And again, I'm not saying anything should have happened to her. She is a child. But these beliefs are 100% worthy of criticism. And this video, as you're about to get to see, also worth criticism. I walked through the hallway saying hello to my classmates and friends. And every time I did, they brush me off or give me a dirty look. I even had a few people ignore me and whisper something to someone else right in front of me and then walk away. Once again, we are getting to those parts where it sounds to me that this is less of a story of what actually happened to somebody and a story that has been scripted of what people believe is happening. As though if you are anti-LGBT, you won't be able to find people and friends. Don't get me wrong, there are instances where children are monsters and you can get an entire group of people to turn on one. But so many of the details of the story sounds more like a lifetime movie in the twilight zone. Finally, I saw my friend who asked me the question the other day and nervously said, hi. She automatically replied, get away from me. And so begins now the illustrations of what villains, the supporters and the members of the LGBTQA plus community are. I thought we were fine. What? What did I do? At this point, everyone had their eyes on us waiting to see what would happen. How dare you not support gays or lesbians? Do you hear it? Do you hear how this sounds more like a story in Sunday school than something that actually happened to a person? What? Why did you tell everyone? I thought you were my friend. How can I be friends with someone who doesn't support what I or all of us do? By the way, while they're trying to make it sound like, again, they're using these voices, making them sound very aggressive and showing what a victim this poor straight girl is. There is an actual valid question in there. I've talked about it many times on my channel. I am okay with being with friends with people that I disagree with, who disagree with my lifestyle and my identity. However, I don't insist on that for everybody. And if you are talking to a person, if you are friends with someone who you find out hold hatred about either you or something about you, that, that bullcrap concept of hating the sin but not the sinner, you are under no obligation to maintain a friendship or even maintain conversations with those people. Consider too if we were to switch this from sexuality to race. And this poor little victim had said, no, I don't agree with being black. How much sympathy for what I think is clearly this fictional character would there be from all of the people watching this of, oh my goodness, she just, she just was saying what she believed. There shouldn't be any social consequences for expressing that you don't agree with people's very identity and things that are entirely out of their control. Do I believe any young child should have to go through like a level of beration, a level of harassment for holding those views? Absolutely not. And, and certainly this is a point where the parents and the teachers should have been getting involved in this totally happened story. But you wouldn't have a story about how rude black children were because they stopped wanting to be friends with a racist and how that was wrong of them and they were being so mean to this little racist. But we're meant to do what with this story? We're meant to go, oh, that poor little girl, she's having to feel what it feels like for a moment to be gay in a society that it still can be extremely bigoted about it and who largely were years ago. Oh, she's feeling like maybe she shouldn't have sold the truth. You know, the way many gay kids have had to hide in the closet for her belief that is based on a religion that again, not her fault. It's been installed into her by her parents to believe this. But we're meant to watch this video of this thing that allegedly happened. And again, I think there's a lot of good reasons to doubt it did. And change the conversation. Tell allies and LGBTQA plus kids that they need to be more accommodating. That they need to be more open and friendly to people who disagree with LGBT. Who disagree that their existence is valid. You're a monster and unaccepting of other people's preferences. You just don't fit in with the rest of us anymore. You just don't fit in 
with the, like I said, this sounds like really lazy writing. You just don't fit in with the rest of us anymore. This is how people and children talk to each other in conflict. At this point, everyone gave me a dirty look and agreed with her. It was like I had committed some kind of sin. It was like she had committed some kind of sin. You know, it's not like she had been off being gay, which is a sin. She had just simply said, I don't agree with LGBT. I don't think that what they're doing is okay. I don't think that their identities are valid and I think they go against the very nature of God and are filthy and disgusting. And they made me feel like I had committed a sin. I didn't deserve to be around everyone else. In an instant, I was the worst person in the entire school. Nah, probably not. In a large crowd of people, you can usually find somebody more bigoted. The only thing I could do was run into the bathroom. I cried so hard, so much, and so loud. Someone in the other stall heard me and told me to shut up. Oh, these horrific villains, the LGBT community and their allies who can recognize from the sound of a person's tears who's in there and that they are a bigot and crying about their bigotry and yelling shut up. Again, this story is, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It's not a matter of I suspect it. This story is clearly bullshit. This is clearly a story that has been fabricated and sent into these animators who again decided to run it of people who want to see the LGBTQA plus community and their allies villainized and make it look like that it is in fact the Christian righteous people just trying to stand up for their beliefs, just casually sharing it when asked that they are the actual victims here. And for the millionth time, because I can already anticipate the comments, I am 100% not advocating that anybody bully anybody, even in this case where she can't see the harm of her bigoted beliefs. But this story and this animation is clearly fabricated bullshit to demonize a community that is seeking equality that wants to live as quietly as people are demanding they do so but will not and cannot do so until they are treated with some goddamn human decency I'm also ashamed of myself for not supporting or accepting the lgbt plus community no hypothetical girl that's not what you felt ashamed of you felt ashamed that so many people were against you if you felt ashamed for not supporting the LGBTQA plus community, as I have felt ashamed for my past doing that, that would actually be a correct feeling. I hated myself for not lying and saying I did support them. Well, those are two completely different things. You said you felt bad for not supporting them, and then you said you felt bad for not lying and saying you support them. Again, the social consequences being what you are reacting to. The rest of the day was just as bad, if not worse. People mocked me and called me homophobe. Again, hypothetical girl who this definitely didn't actually happen to. The name calling shouldn't happen. Uh, you shouldn't randomly be called homophobe especially a child in this case. There are actually situations where it would be appropriate to use that kind of language, but this toward a child in school would not be. Which wasn't true at all. I tried to tell them that it was my personal preference to not support it. Yeah, that is still homophobia. People who are homophobes aren't born homophobes. Homophobia is a personal preference. But it didn't mean I hated people who are gay or lesbian. It kind of does, though. I had to tell my parents what was happening to me at school. But would they yell at me for having these opinions? Yeah, here's another red flag that this didn't really happen because this offers up the idea that she had independently come to this conclusion. And for children, somewhere in the ages of what, like 9 to 13 years old, based on the illustrations, the riding the bus, everything, it is almost impossible that those beliefs did not in fact come from her parents. I told them the question my friend asked the day before, and then my answer that I just didn't agree with the LGBT plus community. And what does that mean to not agree with the LGBT plus community? That I just don't agree with the black community regarding being black. Well, we seem to clearly know that one of those statements is bigoted and somehow not the other. To my delight, my mom and dad, they reassured me that it was okay to have different opinions to other people about things. It is okay to have different opinions to other people about things, but your opinions, especially those you are going to stand up for, need to be well supported and all opinions are worthy of criticism, period. Like sexuality, religion, and politics. Just as long as you are not rude or disrespectful towards them. Well, once again, disagreeing with the LGBT means disagreeing with their existence and the validity of their love and the things that they want to do that hurts no other person. So yeah, that's pretty disrespectful. My old friends would either turn their backs on me to ignore me, or worse, 
mutter mean words under their breaths as they pass me in the hallways. Their words would cut through me to my core. Wow, it almost sounds like this fictional character got to feel just a bit what it was like to be gay just a few decades ago for most people, and still is the case in many countries, in many places, and still in many places within the US. The story continues from there that things at school just stayed bad and that nothing ever got better. She never made another friend. Uh, her grades start to slip. No one wants to work with her. She's just treated like a social pariah and that everything is, is literally as terrible as it could be. Again, signs that this is a fabricated story of what, in what a person who is religiously invested in being a allowed to be homophobic would write more so than a story that is likely to have actually happened. It goes on that they have a meeting with the principal after the grades are slipping and they agree that she should move schools and get a fresh start somewhere else. A year has passed since I moved schools and I've made great new friends, all with different views and opinions. I still have the same views, but I've realized that there are better ways to express them. It moves on to how she has moved to a new school, she's made new friends, that she has differing opinions and that lots of her friends have differing opinions. She still feels the way she feels, but she has a better way to express them once again. So we are still in a state of her only looking to assert that she doesn't agree and, and not in a state of actually wanting to listen. And one thing that is interestingly missing from this, though she mentions no one wanted to hear her side or her reasons, they never present that in this little cartoon either. And I suspect that that is because, once again, the bigotry and the homophobia would become more clear, and your ability to sympathize with this poor young fictional character, that you would not do so as much. This is bigoted, homophobic propaganda. It is meant to emotionally manipulate you and make you think, wow, you know who the real villains are here? Those gays. Not agreeing with the LGBT is once again another movement of people trying to deny equal rights to another movement of people. I do feel sympathy for this fictional child because she is a victim, but once again, she is a victim of her parents, of ideology, and of indoctrination. That has taught her, who seems to be presented as an individual who is inclined to be a good person to do and say horrible, disgusting things. The way my new friends accept different opinions by discussing them rather than turning them into a witch hunt and isolating the person with a different opinion has made me feel so at home. The way my new friends actually discuss things instead of trying to turn them into a witch hunt, again, this is what is meant to happen here is people are meant to draw those associations. You're not going to be able to have reasonable conversations with people about LGBTQA+, because they're going to want to hate you and turn it into a witch hunt. That is the goal of videos and stories like these. And whoever decided to pick this up and animate it should have read through this script and seen all of the red flags that this clearly is not a real thing that ever happened. And I'm not saying that people haven't been bullied for not having the correct social social views. I have very much called out those kinds of things. If you watch some of my live shows with Kyle, and I've talked about how I don't agree with a lot of the ways people are often shout down that I think there are people with terrible ideas that those terrible ideas still have to be discussed. And it certainly doesn't mean that you must be friends or friendly with people who espouse disgusting views. Certainly no one should be bullied because that is no way to actually change people's minds. But let's be clear, this story wasn't submitted and illustrated to stop bullying. It is there to call out a group of people as bullies to try and make them look like the villains in the hopes that it will get them to shut up. And that is made extra clear that once again, why she believed that way was never presented. Those are details clearly omitted because it would prevent people from sympathizing as this individual says, it's not that I'm a homophobe, it's just my personal preference not to support the LGBTQA plus community. And that is some utter and complete garbage. That's what homophobia is. Yes, it can be much more radical. Yes, it can be much more evil. Yes, people have literally died for simply being gay. And they have suffered incredible social consequences for simply being who they are, who they were born as. And I wouldn't hold a child of this age personally responsible for those beliefs. I 100% 
certainly would blame the parents and hope that any individual who does somewhat reflect this child, because no one does completely, because again, the story is clearly made up, but I am far more worried about this individual having a gay sibling, having a gay family member, and the way that person is treated, because we see this in the suicide numbers, the number of children who are killing themselves for being bullied for being queer, those are the numbers that are alarming, those are the numbers we need to be fighting against, and, and those are the numbers that are perpetuated by people like this who don't, I don't hate gay people, I just hate being gay. That is the disaster here. Just watching this whole thing, this concept of, you know, we really need to be worried about what villains the LGBTQ people are becoming because they don't want to listen to people who don't believe that their identities are valid or that they should be living the way they live, that they're living in filth and sin. As I said, propaganda. I'm done with this for the day. Seriously, so disgusting. Uh, this was sent to me over on Reddit. Thank you, Sam Sheila, for sending this. If you want to suggest other topics, blogs, videos, make sure you do so over on Reddit r slash Dear Mr. Atheist. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos. Hang around, watch some videos from this channel. Click that like button. Let me know if you agree that this was a hit piece looking to villainize the LGBTQA plus community by hitting that like button, leaving comments, letting me know what you think. You can also watch episodes of Dear Mr. Atheist early by signing up over on Patreon. And speaking of my patrons, here they are, and they are so wonderful for keeping my channel alive. A special thank you to my orbital teapots, Mia, Commander Bork, Maya, Caleb, Ariel, Ashley, Sassy Cat, and Lucy. Here are some video suggestions if you want to stay a while. And a special thank you to my patron of the day, who is Ariel Teague. Would love Ivan Jimmy Snow, Mr. Atheist Wasn't My Father.